Should you learn air roll left or right? What is the difference between directional air roll and regular air roll? How can you train and improve directional aerial control? Does your plat friend really deserve champ? All of these questions will be answered in this video, so stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys, Calvin here. Directional air roll is a fairly new concept for most players, as it is not automatically bound to controllers. However, learning directional air roll is an extremely important pillar to have in your skill set. Now, before I explain all the ins and outs of this mechanic, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you won't miss out on any amazing Rocket League content. Let's begin by explaining the differences between regular air roll and directional air roll. Regular air roll takes two inputs to spin, the joystick and the air roll button. This means that when you try to use regular air roll, you must tilt your joystick while using air roll to spin. You would think that this gives you more control in the air, but it actually doesn't. You are forced to use both controls when spinning. Directional air roll, on the other hand, only takes one input to spin, the directional air roll button. This means that the joystick is freed up and can be used to simultaneously adjust your car in the air while spinning. Using directional air roll allows you to adjust your car to different axes. Axes. Axis. Ax. Um, axis times two. <laughs> This means that once you are skilled enough with this mechanic, you will be able to have much more control and make much more efficient adjustments in the air than normal air roll. However, regular air roll has the benefit of being able to change how much you air roll. You can tilt your joystick very slightly to air roll a little bit, or you can fully tilt your joystick to air roll a lot. This means that regular air roll is very useful when making immediate adjustments, such as going for shots or wave dashes. Another advantage regular air roll has is that you can adjust to either side. Now, we can see that both regular air roll and directional air roll have their pros and cons. So what does this mean for you, the player? Which one should you choose? Well, you gotta bind both. Using both directional air roll and regular air roll allows you to reap the benefits of immediate adjustment and added car control from both controls. There are just too many situations where one mechanic would be better than the other, so it's best to bind both. For me personally, I have regular air roll bound to my left bumper along with power slide. My air roll left button is bound to my right bumper. Now that we've decided we need both directional air roll and regular air roll, which direction should you choose? Or should you bind both directions as well? Honestly, there's not really much difference between either direction besides preference. I bound air roll left because that was what the majority of players use, so it was just easier for me to learn. If you have both regular air roll and a directional air roll bound, there's really no need to have two directional air rolls. Your regular air roll can easily fill in the gaps of the other direction. Now, how can you train and improve your directional air roll control? This is the hardest part, so prepare to suck at this for a while. When I first transitioned to directional air roll, I struggled to understand how to control my car in the air, as I previously spent so many hours only using regular air roll. However, this means I can drop some knowledge on you guys who may have had a similar experience. A little disclaimer before I begin the training tips, this tutorial will be for air roll left since that's just what I use. For air roll right, simply flip the joystick movements. To begin learning directional air roll, you'll have to learn to use your joystick in a completely different way than with regular air roll. With regular air roll, you must tilt your joystick in a direction and that's where you will tilt. However, tilting your joystick with directional air roll changes the angle you are rolling at, which is super hard to get used to. Also, when you're first starting out, remember that you shouldn't really have to tilt your joystick to the left at all. Okay, so now that you're keeping that in mind, let's go over the two most basic maneuvers with directional air roll. You have your basic spin and your tornado spin. To do a basic spin, you simply hold your air roll left button and don't touch your joystick at all. To do a tornado spin, you hold your air roll left button but also tilt your joystick to the right. Your basic spin while boosting is the fastest way to aerial. It's the exact same as not spinning your car at all and boosting. Your tornado spin while boosting is the slowest way to aerial. Basic spin fast, tornado spin slow. Now, let's talk about adjusting in the air. The two main ways to adjust while using directional air roll are boosting and using your joystick. Your joystick is used to tilt your car in different directions while your boost is used to move your car in that direction. 
This means that you must first tilt your car in the direction you want to go and boost when your car is properly facing that direction in order to complete a successful directional air roll aerial. Remember that you want to start adjusting your car when your nose is pointed forward in order to get down basic control. Okay, now that I've dropped 5 tons of knowledge and preparation onto your faces, let's get into how to practice. I know your first instinct is to go into training and try to air dribble with directional air roll. Fine, go ahead, try it. You will suck. Trying to dive straight into it will take way longer than taking steps at a time. You gotta take baby steps. Yeah, yeah. The first step to learning directional air roll is learning the basic adjustments. This means learning how to turn left and right while air rolling. Now, to train basic adjustments, you want to go into free play and fly up into the air. To turn left while air rolling, you want to hold air roll left and push your joystick down into the right. To turn right while air rolling, you want to hold air roll left and push your joystick up into the right. Once you have fully grasped the basic adjustments, you can move on to the next step. The second step to learning directional air roll is learning to adjust while continuously air rolling. To train this, go into the pillars map in free play and try and air roll the entire time while going around these pillars. Try and get around a quarter of a map consistently, then half, then three fourths, and then eventually completely around the map consistently. This will be super hard at first, but after a couple hours, you will find yourself progressively getting better at your aerial control. Once you feel you have grasped adjustments while continuously air rolling, let's move on to the next step. The third and final step to learning directional air roll is to practice adjustments with the ball. Yes, finally you get to touch some balls. Yeah, yeah. Now that you have a basic understanding of adjusting while air rolling, we can apply this to ball control. To train this, start out by going into this amazing training pack that I used when I first started learning and that I still use to this day. For every shot, try to continuously air roll as you go up for the ball. Focus on being able to make consistent contact and getting better at adjusting your car in the air. Consistency and practice is key to learning how to use directional air roll. So now that I've laid out everything you need to know about regular air roll and directional air roll, you have now reached the hardest part. Practice. Directional air roll isn't like most mechanics where you can grind out the same button mashing until it becomes muscle memory. Since there's so much variation in different situations where directional air roll is applied, you must become an expert at the basic maneuvers to be able to become consistent and reliable with directional air roll in any situation. Once you sink in the practice, time, and effort, you can become a stylish master at aerial car control. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a single upload. Thank you so much for watching, love y'all.